Let me unload! I need to get back out there! What are you, crazy? You can't go back out there! That storm! Forget the storm! Something's happening! Like the sea is full of fish! The sea is always full of fish! No, no, it, it, it's like every fish in the ocean is, is right out there! Look out! Did you see? My my boat! Where's my boat? It was huge! Oh, my boat! My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into men. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. What are you doing? I'm training you. You're training a fish? Yep. <laughs> to do what? To fetch. You're training your fish to fetch? Yep. You're deluded. It could be very useful. How, Aunt? It... How? I'm not sure yet, Fontaine, but I'm sure once I've trained them, I'll find all sorts of practical applications. A fish has like a three second memory. So, in the highly unlikely event you manage to train the fish, it will just forget what it's learned straight away. That's not true! You know it's not true! Have faith in my fish! You are deluded. Huh! I'll prove it! Get into the moon pool! I'm gonna humor you, but I'm also gonna mock you when this doesn't work. Alright, here's your chance, Jeffrey. You named your fish Jeffrey? Ignore her, Jeffrey. She can never understand us. Now, fetch! Fetch! You're deluded. Can I get out now, Aunt? Or do you and Jeffrey have other failures to show me? No! Mom! <laughs> that never gets old. What's up? I'm teaching my fish to fetch. No, he isn't. And you should know not to involve your sister in these things. Fontaine, have faith in the fish. Where's your dad? He's in the study, staring at some old map. We have newer maps. I know, Keiko. We have satellite maps. All sorts of technology went into them. Some of them aren't even drawn in pencil. I know, Keiko. Then why? There are parts of this map that are surprisingly accurate. And there are parts that are marked, Here be dragons. Will, we have newer maps. A week ago, there was an earthquake off the coast of Greenland. Since then, there have been some strange reports. What sort of reports? Sightings, monster sightings, plus a fishing boat went missing. This is a map of the exact area. And I was just thinking, what if there were? Were what? Dragons. Yes! It's probably not dragons. <laughs> probably not. Has never stopped us before. So we're going to Greenland to search for dragons. What do you think normal families do on a Sunday? Who cares? Dragons! there yet? We're exactly two minutes closer to Greenland than we were the last time you asked. Which means I have time to fill you in on what we're looking for. In 1734... Aw, oh, Dad. Only you could take something as awesome as dragons and turn it into history. <laughs> in 1734, something was sighted off the coast of Greenland. The founder of Greenland's capital city, Hans Egedi, and all of those aboard his ship reported seeing a sea serpent larger than their whole ship. There have been sea monster sightings like this throughout history. In fact, my parents swore they encountered one while searching for Las Lemuria. Really? I didn't know that. Full stop! What is it? I saw... something. Bring us about.
What are we looking for? I'm not entirely sure. Wait, there! What is that? I'd say that's the missing fishing boat. We're still 20 kilometers away from the Greenland coast. What's it doing out here? I don't know. Well, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> turn in the white night. Remember when you went out to see that fascinating deep sea cucumber last week? Ugh, it was a cucumber. It was a turn. Are you ready, big guy? You're taking your fish? He needs the exercise. But he got all that exercise playing fetch. Don't mock me. Have faith in the fish. Anything strange? You mean aside from a fishing boat being miles away from where it went missing? Huh? Actually, I call this strange. Half the boat is just gone. And it's still full of fish. I'm going in for a closer look. Be careful. What's that? To the left, Ant. It looks like a tooth. Tooth. I think you better come back to the sub, Ant. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm fine, really. But, uh, Jeffrey's getting a bit nervous. Huh? Ant, get out of there now! Very, very still. And speak to us. Well, my wetsuit just got warmer. The fishing is the best we've ever seen. You go out there, and you will be coming back. <laughs> There's no such thing as sea monsters. I saw it. <laughs> I was young, but I saw that beast as clear as day. It could swallow your boat whole. Here be dragons, boy. There's no such thing. Oh, well then why aren't you on your boat, boy? Why are you still arguing if the fishing's good? You're right. I'm going out. You superstitious lie can stay here and stay poor. I'm coming back with enough fish for the whole... Uh, uh, what are you doing, boy? Huh? You've never seen a submarine before? I'm Will Necton, and this is my family. We hear you may have some monster trouble? Oh, the dragon's no trouble. We'll just stay out of the water for a while. He'll be gone soon. You have a young man hugging you. So I, uh, so I noticed, yes. You were talking about the dragon? Aye. I've seen him before, 40 years ago. I know he was around 40 years before that, and 40 years before that. It's been the same every time. An earthquake, then a monster, then another earthquake, and no monster. Why every 40 years? How should I know? You seem familiar. Yes, I, I get that a lot. It's real, isn't it? I saw it. Yeah, we saw it too. It's definitely real. It took my boat! Can you find it? Well, we found half of it. Half of it? Yes, sorry, uh, half of your boat was eaten. What? Actually, then the other half of your boat was eaten. What? Hello, Antaeus Necton. My name is Narius. How do you know my full name? Antaeus, 
The others won't understand. I see the dragon isn't important. <laughs> uh, trust me, it's important. I was almost eaten by it. The creature is nothing compared to the secret it guards. Uh, I'm listening. This was no random earthquake. Out there, a trench has opened, and soon it will close again. Inside the trench is the creature's lair. Inside the lair lies the secret. What is the secret? How do we find it? You'll know you're there when you can breathe beneath the waves. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you'll find it. I have great faith in you, Antaeus Necton. In fact, I think it could all come down to you. If your family needs persuading, give this to your father. Remember, the sea is the key. The sea is the key. Wait, why? Huh? I'm not insured with sea monsters. Mom, Dad, we gotta go. Now, what is it? I'll explain once we're moving. If we don't go now, we'll have to wait another 40 years. And I am way too impatient for that. It makes sense for the trench to be somewhere around here, where the earthquake was strongest. This makes no sense. Trenches don't just open and close every 40 years. According to Narius, they do. And we just blindly believe strange old men on piers now? Does it matter? What's the worst that could happen? Well, it sounds like a trench could close on us, or we could be eaten. Have you ever eaten submarine? Not the tastiest. And your sister's right. We have no reason to trust this man. Dad, he said to give this to you. What is it? He knew my parents. Oh, well. The tooth! Our grandparents knew about the creature, too! I have a lot of questions for this Narius. Dad, Narius said the trench is gonna close. Questions will have to wait. Fontaine, set a course for the hypocenter of the quake. The earthquake originated somewhere around here, but I don't know what we're looking for. Never mind. What is it? The seafloor just disappeared. Incredible. This trench isn't on any maps I've ever seen. Yeah, Dad, but you look at some pretty old maps. No, I mean no maps at all. This trench doesn't exist. I think this proves we can trust the old man. Taking us in. According to the 3D scanners, the walls of the trench just keep going down. This trench is deep. Very deep. But there's something... it looks like a hole in the wall up ahead. There! Ah, oh, the dragon's lair! But the scanners don't detect any creatures present. Then let's go snoop around. Shall we go for a walk? Okay, this was totally worth it. Mom! Dad! Incredible. The inscriptions, they look Lemurian. Look here. See these lines running down the sides? It looks like this thing opens up. The ancient stone is alarmed? No, it's the rover. The creature is coming! Move! Move! Hang on. There's something... Ants, come on! The sea 
is the key. What are you doing? And we need to go now. I think I worked it out. The C is the key. Yes! Uh, this is the secret. Uh, a little help? Hurry! No sign of him yet. piece of metal and glass, but we have a soft, juicy inside. Shh. Hold on! No! Hold on. Oh. A tremor? It's closing. Why is it leaving? Maybe it knows something we don't. Let's get out of here. We can't. The power's out. What about the homing beacon? It's gone. It must have been knocked off by the creature. All right, breathe calmly. Without power, we only have so much air. And will find us. Without the homing beacon? And will find us. No. No, no! What happened to the homing beacon? I can't find you without the beacon! That's it! Huh, where's that tracker? This just has to work! There's no other way! Yes! Okay, I'll put the tracker on you, and you fetch my family. Got it? Fetch! Jeffrey, I need you to fetch! Please! Oh, please! Fetch! My family needs me. Please. Huh? Jeffrey? We're coming! The rover door has a manual release. And you want to drown instead of being crushed? There's one suit in here capable of surviving at this depth. No! No, I won't put it on. I won't leave you. Fontaine, we don't have time. Just take it. Please. There. Now it's no good to anyone. You know, when we survive this, you and I are going to have a serious talk about acts of defiance that don't destroy very expensive equipment. Huh? Isn't that Ant's fish? No way! No way! Have faith in the fish. Oh no! The trench is closing! I told you he'd find us! <laughs> Ant, we're clear! Punch it! Hold on to something! We're gonna have to move fast! I think 
someone is owed an apology? <sighs> okay, you were right, Ant. I should have had faith in your fish. I'm sorry. Not me! Jeffrey. You want me to apologize to a fish? Ugh. Sorry, Jeffrey. It? Yes. It's written in Lemuria. I'm sure of it. I knew it! Will, are you okay? I'm fine, Keiko. I just wish my parents were still here to see this. Our family's been searching for Lemuria for so long. And this could be it. The key to the sunken world. This could hold the answer to the biggest mystery on the planet. Amazing! Can you read it? Not a word. It begins. This should be interesting. Mm -hmm. 